Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I would like to go over this week with you some of the sales we've had on some books. Um, many of you don't have any idea how much these first editions are worth. So I thought I'd just shout a few prizes out to you and let you understand why maybe some of us are so apt to collect these books. So, first we're going to talk about Tarzan, the son of Tarzan. I don't know if you realize how much those Edgar Rice Burroughs books are worth. Now, um, they have Princess of Mars, Tarzan of the Apes, Son of Tarzan. There are literally I'll just say oodles of them. But here we have a man who sold his collection of Tarzan books. Okay, you ready? He got $95,600. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's go for another one. How about Curious George. How many of you guys remember Curious George? I used to love him. Okay, so Curious George is a book we're all familiar with from our childhood. Little yellow book, cute little monkey. That book, okay, is going for $26,290. Mm hmm, no surprising. Okay, let's go on to another one some science fiction. All of us remember Dune. We love Dune. Frank Herbert, amazing genius in the literary world. Okay. How much do you think a first edition of Edgar Rice... Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's back. Frank Herbert Dune's first edition, 1965, 412 pages, first printing of Dune. That book is going for $10,755. Okay, moving on. Harper Lee, To Kill a Mockingbird. This was first edition, 1960. Amazing, amazing cover. We all remember brown with the the tree on the front with the green. That one is now selling for $6,500. Okay, let's go on. How about a children's book? One we all know, our parents know, and our grandparents know. We're talking about Mark Twain, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. This has been an amazing book all of us have read over the years. And this was, this came out in the 1880s. But a green hardcover Adventures of Huckleberry Finn illustrated book with a gold leaf on front is sold for $5,975. Moving on to The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. This one was first printed by Little Brown and Company in 1951. Everybody loved this book. The impact it made on society was amazing. And well, the amazing thing about this one is the price too because it sold for $3,883.75. Okay, here's some more books, just like The Adventures of, Sher of Huckleberry Finn. We've got The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. These are those big, thick, heavy books with the gold gilting on the front and the deep rich colors. These are selling for $3,585. Okay, let's go to some more you're probably familiar with. Let's move on to, okay, remember The Little Prince? This was such a cute one. It was by um, Antoine saint uh, Epri. don't remember really how to say that. Okay, that one sold for $1,750. Oh, here's a classic, The Hardy Boys. Everybody loves Franklin Dixon. I uh, myself sell those. This one with dust jacket. This one is a 1960s, I believe. And this one sold for 